Yeah, I'm just checking my watch that I don't even have to see when the Ravens are going to add a wide receiver. But wait, what if they don't? What if the, the Ravens actually roll with the young guys that they have now? Would that be enough? Can they get the job done rolling with a, a Bateman, a Proche, a Duvernay, a Wallace, a Bridges, a Polk, a Johnson? Can they get over the hump with the guys that they got already? Should they roll with their young wide receivers? Well, I brought on a very, very special guest who says yes. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got a made it, how to made it. Well, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. Team Keep It Clean, we got a very special guest uh, in the building. Uh, we've been watching so much of what the Ravens been doing. Um, we've been watching so many of the moves that they've been making. Uh, so with what we see from the Ravens, that's why I had to bring in my guy, Raven C. Get it? What we see from the Ravens? Okay, it's a little dad joke. Anyway, I got Raven. Raven, see, oh, it, 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 it. <laughs> it came in with the, you know, I'm good with the dad jokes, you know that. But uh, yeah, Raven, see, you know, YouTube, I do the uh, reactions. You can catch me sometimes uh, live streaming the games. I'm going to have a delay. You just put that out there. I'm going to have a delay. But uh, yeah, I just, you know, um, I do I do like uh, my uh, my quick thoughts. And uh, I just be popping up random videos at times, so you got to hit that notification. Mm -hmm, exactly. Now, uh, where can they find you at on Twitter? It's uh, Raven underscore and that's C E E. Perfect. Just like the YouTube channel, nice and simple. And if that's not simple enough, I will link everything down below uh, in the description. Now, one of my favorite, absolute favorite topics to talk about. As everybody knows, is the Ravens wide receivers. Um, right now, right here, um, how do you feel about this wide receiver group? I actually like it. I like it a lot. I, I have a uh, all the uh, well, you know, we all know with the Hollywood and what he said. We all know that, mm -hmm. but. The group we have: Bateman, Prochet, Wallace. I can just go down. They all, to, in my opinion, are all just straight dogs. Mm. They want to prove that whatever a lot of people are saying, a lot of the media, they need that number one, which to me, that's Bateman already. We know what happened with him last year, but mm. he showed flashes of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, so you are for, you're obviously for the Ravens running with who they got now? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Now, if they do add a veteran, mm -hmm. my opinion, I will only be satisfied with Julio because even in the past when he was a Falcon, he showed that, like that leadership, you know, um, kind of like what uh, what Odafe had with uh, Houston. We know mm -hmm. Julio okay. is going to go and play a few games. We really just need him for the playoffs. <laughs> That's, you know, just insert in a couple of playoff games will be good. And hey. that red zone, throw it up to him. <laughs> That's all we need, dog. Hey, that, that would be true. Because, you know, Ravens, regular <laughs> season, they're going to get by, man. They're going to get – as long as they're healthy, they're going to get by. So, I, I don't think any of us uh, Ravens fans fear is the regular season, but it's what happens when it matters the most. Yeah. Um, now, with the Ravens just lacking a lot of experience right now, how do you feel about this current group uh, if the Ravens do make the playoffs? I would still feel good because in the past, we did not have Keith. Mm. You know, we didn't have T. Mm -hmm. We didn't have them. That's a whole nother, you know, teaching that the previous Ravens didn't have. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's a really, really good point. Um, now, just to backtrack a little bit. Uh, cause I know it was about well, today is it's, it's, it's June 9th. Um, so it was about 
what a month and a half ago. The NFL draft. It was draft night. It was the first round. And the Ravens. First, they took Kyle Hamilton as safety. All right, cool. No problem. No problem. But then the draft kept going, and we all got the big alert. The Ravens traded Hollywood Brown. Mm-hmm. How did you feel about that trade? At first, because I was, you know, I was live streaming along with you. And at first, I was like, man, people putting it in the chat. I'm like, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all trolling right now. That <laughs> but when it happened, I had mixed feelings. Mm-hmm. But then what we received with the trade, to me, that was a lot better. Mm. Because. And- Eric DaCosta said it in one of his, you know, his uh, presses Press. mm-hmm. that he asked Lamar what Lamar wants. Mm-hmm. He asked Lamar at the beginning when he, you know, officially took over, he said he wanted Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So, you know, all of that went through. He gave Lamar Hollywood. He asked Lamar last year, what do he want? He want offensive line. Mm-hmm. To me, that balance. Hollywood wanted to go. He got the best center in the draft. Okay. That's that nice. right there, yeah. beautiful. That's a nice way to look at it. Um, one of the the things about the trade, um, that I, I appreciate it. You know, I, I wasn't a fan of the trade, but mm-hmm. with them with them doing it, I was like, okay, cool. They for them to get back a, a first round pick, uh, for somebody yeah. who was a first round pick, uh, three years prior, that's big. That's yeah. that's really big, and, and I'm sure the whole DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, him being suspended for the first six games that had a lot to do with it. Um, but also them wanting to make their quarterback happy uh, in Kyler mm-hmm. Murray, because we've been hearing about all these little disputes and whatnot, all the back and forth, the social media stuff, him scrubbing all the, the, the Cardinal stuff and whatnot. But there's another quarterback in a whole nother conference. Cause you know, Ky- Kyler, he's in the NFC, but there's a whole nother quarterback in a whole nother conference uh, whose team really should be trying to make him happy. And that being Lamar Jackson. How do you feel up to this point? Um, The Ravens have done, provided for, supplied for Lamar Jackson. Do you feel like they've done enough to where he should be happy and he would want to remain with the team? Uh, Well, actually, I believe the only only question, Mark, which, you know, Lamar is team everything. He ain't going to put it out there. Mm. is the, how he feels about the offensive of play calling. Mm. But we've seen him on the sidelines. I remember, what was it, last year, I think it was? Yeah, yeah with him and, him and Bateman, they was both just mad, like, what kind of, what, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I can I can feel him on that. You know, it's like yeah. some of the, you hear the, the quotes from previous wide receivers talking about the routes and all of that. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's the only thing I think he will have a problem with because other than that, if you think about it, everything he's asked, well, EDC asked him, EDC has provided. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because uh, he certainly, um, they, they've done a good job this offseason uh, of really building up that offensive line and just really building up uh, a lot of protection for Lamar Jackson. Um, hopefully Ronnie Stanley comes back, but yeah, Daniel Falele, Tyler Lindenbaum, who you mentioned earlier, them signing Morgan Moses, even them re-signing Patrick Ricard. Yeah. Uh, Cause no Patrick Ricard, uh, obviously with him being a fullback, he's very physical, but he's also a blocker and he ain't going to just let somebody run past him. And go hunt the quarterback, Patrick gonna get after. So the Ravens have done a lot uh to protect Lamar. But back to the guys that Lamar um is going to be providing for. And and when I say providing, he is gonna be the one providing the passes that go their way. The wide mm-hmm. receivers. Um with Lamar Jackson, uh, we know him and Hollywood super close, both on and off the field. Um, and a lot of people feel like their relationship had an impact with them on the field with uh, Lamar sort of force feeding Hollywood, a lot of targets. Um, And that could be true, but at the same time, um, he force fed Mark Andrews a lot of targets. And I think it was more so one of those things where Lamar just felt comfortable with those guys. And those are the guys who made the most plays for him over the years. Um, But with 
Hollywood being removed from the equation now, uh, how do you feel about the target sharing uh, with the other receivers now that there won't be that focus on Hollywood? What do you think that'll do for this offense? I think it'll, I think it'll help it uh, flourish, mainly with uh, Lamar more practice and getting that more time gelling with Bateman, Prochet, you know, people such as that. Because one thing I caught with Mark Andrews, um, the podcast where he did with uh, Marlon, mm -hmm. he said, when you get open real fast, that's when you get the ball. Oh, And a lot of them people, I was like, oh, that's kind of, it makes sense probably why he getting the ball a lot. Mm -hmm. But also... Lamar, yeah, he had that trust with Hollywood, even on the 50-50 balls, which didn't make sense to a lot of people, even including me. But when we know him building that trust with Bateman now, that 50-50 ball is a lot more clear with the height, speed, and everything Bateman has. Mm -hmm. But also Lamar could see what Bateman could do last year, even with a quick pass, he can just get that yak. Which, mm -hmm. in my opinion, Hollywood, he will get it when the defender come and he'll either run out of bounds or he'll just dive on the ground. Mm -hmm. It's like try to try to get that, you know, that little push of the extra yards, protecting the ball as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Rashad Bateman is a uh, definitely really good at getting the yards uh, after the catch because he got he got a little more wiggle to him yeah. um, than than Hollywood did. Uh, now with Rashad Bateman. Uh, you made it clear that you see him as the Ravens' number one wide receiver. So that would be Lamar's go-to guy in different situations, somebody that he can rely on, uh, especially in crunch time. Um, and that's good. And, and I think most Ravens fans, that would be uh, our expectation with Rashad Bateman. Of course, he still does have to prove it because he got a lot of unproven stuff, but we expect him to be that guy. But who do you think is going to be the number two? Uh... Uh, since they didn't sign our boy Perryman. Um, hey, he would have been number one if he got signed. <laughs> that would have been it. So, hey, so, sorry, Rashad, you got to move over. Rashad Perryman got this. Rashad and Rashad, uh, hey, that would have been something right there too, man. I kind of differ. I go with, uh, I, I have a feeling they might try to give it to Duvernay for some weird reason. Oh, I don't know why, but in my opinion, I will have it. I don't know. Can I have Duvernay or Pro, uh can I have Prochet as a slot? Because mm -hmm. he that that's all him. His like best hands on the team. That that slot, that's all him. And he gets the quick releases. He's hard to cover. He just gets open. Mm -hmm. But uh I believe it's gonna be a battle. Um I think they'll have like that number two as Prochet, but he's gonna end up being in the slot. And then it's going to be that battle for the outside with Duvernay with his speed and Wallace, which he had the speed too. But you look at what he did in college and he didn't get, you know, that much of a chance last year. But uh, he had that, that Steve Smith, the Steve Smith type of attitude, small, but he, he's a dog. He can get out there. Yeah. And I know for him, um, the the reason that he got he dropped down in a lot of people's boards was because not because of his play, but just because of injury. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that based off of the guys that they have right now, and it also depends on what happens uh, with the undrafted rookie free agents uh, that mm -hmm. they signed at wide receiver. But based off of the guys who I feel are like are locks right now uh, to make the roster, I would say Tylen Wallace. I would yeah. say Tylen Wallace, uh, just because of like you, what you mentioned, what he did in college. Um, hopefully, the the Ravens can see some of that, and he can bring that out in the pros. Um, and if they do choose to just roll with the guys that they have now, um, then I would expect him to be the one that stuck out uh, out of the bunch that they have at wide receiver. Mm -hmm. um, now, you did mention if they were to sign another wide receiver. Said Julio Jones. Do you have anybody else who may be on your radar? Even though I know your radar is put away because you said you want to roll with the young guys, <laughs> which is cool. But if you had to pull out your radar and, and, and point at somebody or find somebody else to bring in besides Julio Jones, is there anybody else that you would be willing my, to take? My in second, risk I know a lot of people would be like cool with it, but then he had an injury in the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. OBJ. 
You scared me at first. <laughs> I, I, oh, I no, 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 no. I already know you thinking oh. it ends with a B. No, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Man, who's that? I'm trying to think ends with a B. Their first name or the last that, name? That, that's the, yeah, uh, last name ends with a B and they go by the initials. Oh. No, the guy that I was thinking, he goes by initials, but his initials are T-Y. That's what I was thinking oh, about. Oh, was like, oh. Uh, he's still in the league? <laughs> Ends with a B. Mm, I'm trying to think. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's a wide receiver. Yeah. A, yeah. Oh, oh, ends with a B. Oh, and the first letter is the, the letter before B. A. Yeah. Yeah. So a. Okay. Yeah. I think I, I think that's a wrap for him. I, I think he's done in the league. But yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 But go. But go ahead. Yeah. OBJ. Uh, yeah. OBJ. That's. Just... I know he's coming off injury and everything, mm -hmm. but like when it's just on the field, really, the dude mm -hmm. is a great mentor. He already cool with Lamar. He already cool with Bateman because Bateman did oh, yeah. say he look up to him, him mm -hmm. and Keenan Allen. But you know that right there to me, that's a great match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, you mentioned how we, we wouldn't need the receiver for regular season. We would just need them for playoffs. Yeah. And with Odell Beckham Jr., with him, um, I think it was his Achilles uh, that he tore in the Super Bowl, he wouldn't be available, not necessarily way until playoffs, but that may be where he's, like, fully ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would play right into your theory. Now, it's funny that you just mentioned somebody else who was brought to my attention just today, just as floating scenarios out there and whatnot at wide receiver. Because, you know, we, we don't ever stop talking about wide receiver. But – Keenan Allen. Oof. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That would be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Keenan Allen to, to take one of Justin Herbert's weapons away and add them to what we got. That would be something right there. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not expecting it. I would love it. I ain't expecting it, though. I think they want to supply Justin Herbert with everything that he can possibly get. And that's on offense and defense for the Chargers. Um. Mm -hmm. But in closing, with this Ravens receiver room right here, right now, how far do you think this room could take them? Entire team or just wide receiver? Well, how far do you think this wide receiver, how far do you oh, think okay, this, enti okay. this uh, entire team can get with this wide receiver room? Oh, oh I'm going Super Bowl. It's, oh. it's Super Bowl. I just... Yeah, sometimes you just like you can see it like they they just want to prove everybody wrong. Mm. And sometimes when they just want to prove people wrong, we had last year, we know what happened. Yikes. That even made the team even more want to prove like Eric DeCosta drafted the right people. They say Ravens don't have no wide receivers. We finna go out here and shut everybody up. Okay. Yeah, that that will be the mentality. Because if you continue to be talked about, like, hey, don't nobody believe in you, you mm -hmm. get extra motivated to to prove them wrong. So hopefully, Ravens receivers, whoever it ends up being, whether it's the guys that they got now, or they add a little more, or they take away a little, whoever it is, uh, hopefully ends up proving everybody wrong and just wiping away any doubt. Because I know me myself, I got some doubt right now. <laughs> um in this room i i really do but um i just one thing that goes in their favor um we mentioned earlier the the, the target sharing mm -hmm. now with, with hollywood going like lamar doesn't have that guy who he's just super loyal to um so that should yep just drop my phone but that should allow him to spread that ball out a, a lot more but another thing too that plays into these guys favor right now um is that Including Rashad Bateman, too. The NFL defenses, they don't have a ton of NFL tape on these guys. So they you can look at you can look at little bits and pieces and whatnot, but for what they've done so far in the league, um, you haven't really gotten to see much. So while yeah, that does show that they're unproven, um, it doesn't mean that it's impossible and they can't do it. So it's mm -hmm. just more so unknown. Uh, so we'll see how this whole thing shakes out. But anyway, Raven C, uh, let everybody know where they can find you at your YouTube channel and the Twitter, even though all of it will be down below in the description. 
let everybody know one more time where they can find you at. It's like I said in the description, it's Raven C and that's C E E. Also, Twitter is Raven underscore C E E. Perfect. I appreciate you coming on. Appreciate you talking to these Ravens wide receivers like we could do all day, every day. I know a lot of people probably, whenever they get a notification, they probably like, man, he's talking to receivers again, man. They really? Anyway, Team Kiwi Clean, appreciate y'all watching. Love y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to Ravens C YouTube channel. And we out. Shout out to Graven.